Sadia was once a school teacher. Now she hides at home. It's her only refuge. Everyone in the village knows she was gang raped. After I begged and pleaded with them, they beat me even more. Then they said to me that if I don't listen to them and do what they want, they'll show everyone the video, put it up on the internet. I didn't care about myself, but I didn't want the future of my siblings to be jeopardized because of me. That's why I didn't tell anyone. But Sadia's silence was to no avail. The rapist put the video online and her uncle saw it. Even people living a hundred kilometers away have seen it. We're protecting Sadia's identity. It is not her real name. A lot of people are watching this video for fun. They see it as something interesting. What happened has happened, but instead of deleting it, they're sharing it with other people for cheap entertainment. <coughs> Supported by her family, Sadia went to the police. Her four alleged attackers were arrested and charged with kidnap, gang rape and the distribution of pornography. They have gone on trial and are awaiting a verdict. But the video is still online. They made the video to blackmail her and uploaded it themselves on Facebook. Then things got out of control and the video went viral. Our team has asked the government to delete the video. Internet cafes and Bluetooth are widely available in Pakistan, even in remote areas. That's how the video has been shared. Pakistan has no specific laws to force websites to take down such material. A cybercrime law lapsed four years ago, though the government says it wants to renew it. Sadia may get justice, but her situation is difficult. She must live within her community, where every time somebody watches a video, it is as if the horror of the crime is being committed again. Amber Shamsi, BBC News, Punjab.